Hello and welcome to Vidush Academy. Today I will show how to do source control with VBA and Git. And except of course this is where our VBA code will be result residing. So let's start. We have one binary Excel file which is rather empty but this is not something that concerns us. Once we open we see the following. We have one main mode where our code will stay and one module called VBE Git. VBE Git would be the module that is responsible for our source control with VBA. So what do we have in this VBA Git? Pretty much we have the following delete and make which actually deletes one uh, folder which is actually the folder in which the project is if it exists. So here would, there would be a project a folder called VBA and it would be deleted once deleted make is run. Then after being deleted it would kindly be generated again and then two other folders VBA code together and VBA code by modules would be generated. Furthermore export module export module would uh, export all the modules that we have these are this workbook, main mod, table something, and VB GIT. Print old code. It would get all the code from all the modules and it would print it in one single VBA uh, file, in one single notepad file, and then print all containers. Would simply print all four containers this workbook, main module, table something, which would be printed as tabelle 1. Or I'll just call it main table, so it's not in German, and then VB Git. So, long story short, let's run Git save and see what would happen. Okay, obviously, something happened, printed a lot of stuff in the immediate window with some interesting information. We can print it again. So, pretty much set zero exporting. Then it wrote four times option explicit. That's kind of a small tiny small tiny bug, but it's something we can live with. And then it printed um, the containers. Okay. Furthermore, here on the right side, it created a folder called VBA. And in this folder, we have two other folders, VBA code by modules. If we go here, we would see main module bus and VBA git and in main module bus if we open it with notepad we would see that it's rather empty because we don't have anything in it and if we open VBA git with notepad we would see all the code that we had here exported okay so in order to start pretty much working with git let's start writing some kind of a code which would be pretty much I don't know looping from 0 to 100 and be also writing in tables something sales e first column would be writing equals e let's run the code so it works okay it doesn't want to work why this is happening table cell e table something uh, just a second of course, it doesn't want to run because we started with e equals to zero, so e plus one, comma one. This is how it should be working. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let's say this is our project, tiny and small, and we want now to upload it into Git. And into source control. So what do we do? We press the git save which is in VB git and now it's unhappy because uh, 
this one is still opened okay right end close this one kindly save everything you have written mm. then open it again and now it's working yeah okay sometimes this kind of stuff happen let's run it once again yeah it works so now it's time to see what do we have here code by modules db git and main module and with notepad we got this that's pretty much great so what should we do now now we should be exporting everything to git so how do we export so how do we export everything to git the idea is the following this is my github repository it's called vitosh github.com slash vitosh slash vitosh academy youtube and in this one once you click on it you code there is one folder only which is about vba loops introduction and the code that i have pretty much written so far I wrote in the same folder I put it in the same folder which is already to the repository okay hopefully you can follow with this one this is not an introduction to git so probably there would be some comments that you wouldn't get but this is pretty much just showing how to export the VBA code into git so what can we do now let's write simply git status here and there is nothing on the status but we still have this vba vba code together and in vba code together we see the whole, the whole code of the everything including the loop from one from zero to 100 and then the other module the option explicit would be problematic but the reason why this thing exists is if something can change is changed in it then it would be visible so this is the old code story and all modules these are the four modules that we have this workbook in german table something main mod and db git everything would be exported into git so let's see how it works git add permission denied okay why is permission denied because this nice workbook is either not saved or not closed the reason is it is not closed okay we close the workbook and we go further then we write git commit in and we write youtube git one these are the new files that are staged and here we write git push origin master yep now it's working everything is pushed and in git we can see this file git with vba with VBA code by modules with main module and our tiny loop okay let's make some changes into our code so we open back Excel unfortunately it's, we cannot export with Excel opened obviously we open git and in main module we say okay not on, we also want looping twice from 0 to 100 so what can we do we make j as long and we say say for j equals 0 to 1 mm, next j and here it would be column j plus one because i wrote there zero okay so running this one running this one it works yes twice okay let's write it i plus j so it makes a lot more fun the numbers are different great now we save it some information about personal stuff in excel and then we on vba git we click git save 
once again. And what did it do? Created our recreated our VBA folder here. And if we go into code together, for example, when we click all code and we read it with uh, Notepad plus plus, we will see that we have our new code here. So exporting this, closing this, and exporting it into Git would be our next step. Okay. And Git add dot git commit i can use this youtube uh, git two okay three files change 20 instructions eight editions and now we can write git push origin master and take a look that in our git pretty much mm, we have our new part of the code imported which is great we can take a look at the blame we can see that we have a lot of interesting stuff we see like three minutes ago what was there we see what was there 37 seconds ago the change okay this is the change that i changed and we see the name of the commit youtube git 2 youtube git 1 and yeah 30 seconds ago seconds ago this was a bit changed and this is with history we can take a look for example we can see browse at this point of history or Take a look at the git. Or take a look at this one. Here we see perfectly that something was changed. The change the changes us like uh, in red and in green. And that's pretty interesting. So in our whole project, this was the only change. So what I'm trying to show you from this, okay, around more than 10 minutes video, is that not using source control when you're programming with VBA is actually something for which you do not have any excuse. You can do it if you want to. It's not science fiction. You simply copy the whole uh, part which I'm providing on my website for automatic taking of the data which we have coded and put it into git it's languages every year which every other language vba is not something like wow this is like a crappy micro language it is something that works uh, the only thing that i haven't mentioned is in order to make sure that this nice vb project vb components work you should add one library the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications, extensibility library. And yeah, thanks for watching me on YouTube again. Have a great day and enjoy your coding. Bye.